Productivity is like trying to stay on top of your workout routine. It's hard to achieve and even harder to sustain. Don't, um, don't ask me how I know. Yeah, so I heard. Plus, in today's busy world, our attention is being grabbed left, right, and center, making it hard to stay focused on the things that actually matter. But don't worry, there are strategies to help you with prioritization and output. I'm Eric Pedroio, and in this video, we'll explore three powerful infographics that will enhance your self-organization, efficiency, and productivity. First up, the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. This principle states that 80% of outcomes come from 20% of inputs. This could mean, for example, that 80% of your sales come from 20% of your clients, or 80% of the results come from 20% of your profits. This theory was developed in 1906 and remains relevant still today. Vilfredo Pareto, whose name sounds like a delicious spaghetti sauce, came up with this idea when he started noticing that 80% of the land of the kingdom of Italy Italy was owned by 20% of the entire population. Using the Pareto Principle is a great method to assess your workload and identify which tasks have the greatest impact for whichever goal you're measuring against. This might be increasing profits, hitting those KPIs, moving the needle towards any particular milestone. Once you've identified your high impact tasks, prioritize them in the order that will result in the biggest payoff first. Apply this mindset to your and your team's task, and you can guarantee a boost in productivity and maybe even profits. Next, we have the Eisenhower Matrix, a tool for time management. Dwight D. Eisenhower once said, I have two kinds of problems, the urgent and the unimportant. The urgent is not important and the important is never urgent. This matrix provides a framework for which to assess your tasks in terms of the importance and urgency in order to prioritize them effectively. This in turn helps you become more rigorous when approaching your to-do list. The matrix consists of four quadrants. Important slash urgent tasks are ones that need immediate attention by you. These tasks need to be done, no ifs, ands, or buts. They are usually the ones that keep cycling in the back of your mind when you're trying to rest or watch a movie or enjoy some downtime. And often the best medicine is just to eat the frog, to get those tasks out of the way first so that you can enjoy your day. These are things like meeting those crucial deadlines or responding to last minute incidents at work. Important slash not urgent tasks require planning, and these are also done by you. We often drop these the quickest when we have other tasks competing for our attention, but they are necessary to allocate time to. This is because they tend to have long-term goals and bring a high level of reward and fulfillment over time. This might be building and sustaining personal relationships or finding time for your passions and hobbies. Unimportant slash urgent tasks need to be done, but are not high priority like the ones mentioned in the important slash urgent category. For these tasks, it's best to delegate them to a colleague. Just remember to check their capacity to take on the task first and provide clear instructions. Otherwise, you might spend more time taking them through the task than it would have took you if you would have just done it yourself. Unimportant slash not urgent tasks are considered time wasters. These are simply taken out of the equation and deleted. You know, activities like doom scrolling through social media, checking your notifications, doing your plan focus time, things like that. Categorizing your tasks using the Eisenhower matrix will help you prioritize effectively. And finally, the productivity Venn diagram. Often when we think about being productive, we're thinking about taking on or doing more. But if you spend your time redoing your work because the quality is poor, or you waste a lot of resources while churning out tasks, you'll quickly find yourself slowing down and the time you take to complete the task will increase rather than decrease. This diagram highlights the balance between quantity quality and efficiency. Ideally, you want to complete a good number of tasks while doing them at a high standard and minimizing wasted resources while working. Quantity is about completing a good number of tasks and enjoying the satisfaction of ticking them off. Quality is doing a good job at a high standard. It's better to focus on one task and do it well rather than go between multiple tasks trying to achieve the same level of excellence in each. Achieving a balance amongst these three elements is key to sustain productivity. And without one of these three pillars, you won't be able to achieve a sustainable level of productivity in your workflows. And one tip that can help with this is by asking yourself regularly, am I dedicating enough time? Am I maintaining a high level of quality? And am I working efficiently? 
All right, so by incorporating these three infographics into your workflow, you can improve your time management and enhance your productivity and achieve a better business outcome. And of course, to make these infographics, we use Dryo, and you can do the same. If you haven't tried Dryo yet, you can try for free. Just head over to the Atlassian Marketplace and get a 30-day free trial. Until next time, keep diagramming.